Hey everyone, Nick from Drag. So firstly, a really big thank you for you guys as early adopters and spreading the word about Drag. So Drag's just like Trello, but for Gmail. We're really excited to launch soon, but I understand that now is the time for feedback, ideas and problem solving. So I'm going to give you a really quick tour of Drag and explain where the tool's at, what we're working on, and I'd love it if you'd suggest and vote for features that you believe are most relevant to you and the features that you most need. What we'll then do is, um, based on the votes, we'll then uh, prioritise which features we're going to develop first. So let's get started. Installing is really easy. We're going to navigate to the Chrome store and we're going to search for Drag App. So we add the Chrome extension and we add extension. Now just while that's loading, if we something that's important to note, we have been developing it for two or three months and at this stage the tool will work on one of your Gmail accounts. I understand some people use multiple Gmail accounts, but at this stage it will only operate on one. Later in this demo I'm going to talk you through the future features we're planning and one of them is obviously multiple Gmail accounts and that is anticipated about two to three weeks from now, but just bear that in mind. So I'm going to sign in with one of our accounts. Now as soon as you install Drag, what you'll see is the layout change and it will change into three stages, to do, doing and done. You'll actually see on the left hand side that Drag has created four folders for you, to do, doing, done and there's a fourth one which is archive, I'll talk you through that shortly as well. Effectively once you've reached the done stage you can push that into archive. So when you first install Drag, all emails will start in the to-do page. Everyone's got different workflows, so my role over the next few months of testing is to understand people's different ways of using Drag and build these features in the correct way to make them available for people's workflows. The cool part, you can now organize your inbox into simple stages. So emails you're working on, for example, can be dragged into your to-do, to uh, sorry, doing or done section, just like this. When you've completed your task, Typically, and myself included, what I'd historically do is I would drag my emails into a folder. At the moment, that's another feature we're working on. We're hoping to have that done uh, in the period of May development. So again, two to three weeks from now. So at the moment, let's say, for example, we've got these two items done. There's two ways that you can now take them out of your done folder. Obviously, over time, you don't want your done folder to fill up. You want that completely clean. The first way, and probably the best way, is to multi-select and send them to the folders that you want to send them to. The really quick and easy way, if people don't want to do it that way and they, they don't have a, a workflow of controlling their done items into certain folders, is simply to archive. So you can press this archive button here and this archive button here, and what will actually happen is it will send those into the archive folder there where you can navigate to and see your history, and then your done folder and your doing folder is then complete again. And you can drag these again and drag some more into there and some more into there. When you refresh the page it retains this layout completely. One other thing that's important is you can navigate back to your old way of, of working whenever you want to simply by clicking this radio button and clicking this button here again and that's where Drag's at at the moment. It's a really simple tool. We've got a lot of features that I'm going to talk about now and then I'm going to leave you guys to have a play around and please 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 do feedback so the next steps of this is how to vote and suggest features. It's really important for me and our development team and our marketing team and our sales team to be able to evolve the tool in a way that meets your workflow. So what we've done, and we're hoping it's going to work very well, at the bottom of the Drag App page there's a product mode roadmap. If you click on this, what you'll then see is the feedback that we've had to date, which is, and therefore we are working on, so some key key features share and work on task lists with the team so to be able to share this layout that you're seeing here and for people to be able to contribute with their own stuff and and lay it out so we're starting the development of that um, add notes to email so to be able to add some notes to email simple um, explanation of something or whatever, however you may want to kind of use it built into your workflow drag and drop emails into folders i understand it's something i do myself as well when I'm done with Scott McQuinn, for example, I'd love to drag him and drop him all over, all the way over to here into one of my folders. At the moment, that can't be done, but it's something that's priority for us and we are working on. 
customized drag column. So again, a lot of people won't want to organize it and to do doing done. They may want five or six or seven columns and they may want to customize the, the titles of each. Again, that's something we're working on and it's being done in this priority order that you'll see here. And then um, use multiple Gmail accounts. And as I touched on earlier, that's something we'll work on. I, again, I have multiple Gmail accounts and I like to log in and use drag across all of these different ones. So what I ask of you guys, if it's possible, is please do use the tool. Please do try it out. I know you're going to be the advocates of the tool and certainly be able to feedback with where the tool needs to evolve to, what features need to be improved upon, what new features you may to have, need to, to, to have in place for you to be able to use it. And most importantly, the, the bugs you may be experiencing at this early stage as well. We've got a very lean process of how we how we manage our development and how we um, solve bugs and how we, uh, through various development sprints, uh, work on new feature releases and things like that. So I'd love it if you'd navigate to this tab here. And I'd love it if you'd be able to write your own comments when you feel a feature is needed or a bug. And then our marketing team will actually control <coughs> these features and place them into doing for you to be able to upvote what you feel is most relevant. And then when it's done, it's going to get released directly out to you guys and you'll get notified. And hopefully uh, you'll see an improvement, a feature that, that makes it even easier for you to organize your inbox. So thank you once again for certainly listening to me for about five or ten minutes talk about our tool. And I look forward to the feedback.